What's up, Beard Army? We're just about to uh, to go do a food challenge today, but before that, I've got a video which I shot like six or seven weeks ago and totally forgot about. So I'm gonna call this like the Chronicles of Beard, the Lost Episode. <laughs> Indiana Jones style. Yeah, shut up, you. Um, so yeah, it took me a while to get it done and get it up, but... No comment. Really pushing me today. Anyway, we're going to do the first episode in the, the new Christmas series, which I know a lot of people are really excited about. Well, that'll be coming in a few weeks. But um, today, this is just like a, a restaurant challenge I shot a while ago. I hope you enjoy it. There's a Q&A on the end, so... Some people like those kind of things, but... Before we get into that, I've got to say a big thanks again to Ridge Wallets for sponsoring the past few episodes. The Ridge, it's like a minimalist wallet. It's supposed to make you reevaluate your daily carry, carry less stuff. Perfect wallet for me, actually, because I'm stingy and uh, I don't pay for anything. I've got Sugar Mammy, who does that for me. That's a stingy bugger. That's a joke. I pay for everything. But, um, yeah, if you go to ridgewallet.com forward slash beard and enter the code beard, you can get 10% off right now in time for Christmas, plus free worldwide shipping. So, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, anyway, enjoy this video today. We're about to go film something else, which is going to be equally awesome. Bye! <laughs> What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to the Chronicles of Beard, episode number 80-something, I think. <laughs> uh, and today we are at the Backyard Barbecue, taking on their Kitchen Sink Burger Challenge. And I hope you're ready for some high-octane action, because this one is about to get hectic. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this was kind of a laid-back episode this week. As you can see, it's not the, uh, the biggest meal in the world. It's more of a speed-eating challenge. Uh, this has been completed once, you get 15 minutes to do it. I think the record time was like 13 minutes, 40, and some change maybe. Uh, something around there, but only one person has ever actually done it. It's three 8 ounce burger patties, some pulled pork, brisket, and some fried chicken, plus some fries and fixings. brisket. <laughs> Yeah, I've kind of a habit lately of spitting food everywhere, not on purpose. Um, in fact, I would go as far as to say this is almost certainly the cleanest I've ever eaten, on camera or off camera, because I don't leave any debris here. Practicing some new techniques for swallowing huge chunks of stuff. What did you just say? Pickles. Yeah, pickles indeed. Shout out to my boy Nate Biggs. Uh, these pickles are pretty good actually, as good as a pickle can be. You can see that. I, I just can't pick up a sausage without gesturing in some way, shape or form to the camera. I don't know why. Keep your minds out of the gutter, people. No willy jokes this week. <laughs> a couple of good sexy slow-mo shots there. Uh, you actually get a lot of fries with this. I don't know about the total weight. I want to say about four pounds, maybe not even that. It's, it's pretty small, but like I said, the idea is is, uh, is more speed. So it's just kind of going for that for that record. And the only part that I found really tricky was the burgers themselves. They were pretty tough, not in, in not in a bad way. They tasted good, but kind of like steak burgers. You know, hard to swallow large chunks of them. Clean this glass down a little bit. Look, that is unheard of. Look how clean that is. It's the cleanest I've ever eaten. Can I have a look at the dessert? Do you have desserts? It's just there. Okay. Can I order the Elvis waffle? Yeah, sure. That's just calling out to me the name. Love it. You know how we do, Mr. Magoo. All about the dessert, and I had to get the Elvis waffle. This thing was peanut butter, chocolate, jam, and of course, a big 
dollop of squirty cream. Love that stuff. But yeah, the food was surprisingly good here. The venue was pretty small, so I didn't really expect it to be that fantastic. Uh, but yeah, the, the brisket was, was juicy. The pull pot was sweet and savory to the perfect degree, and the, and the burgers were good. I cannot fault it. Definitely a good place to eat. T-shirts, man. Definitely not a plug for the new line of merchandise. All right, so that was not a particularly taxing day at the office, to say the least. I was ready for a good old feed as well. But I'm going to do something productive with my day. It's time for the Facebook monthly live q and I'm going to answer some questions, put the highlights in this video, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get some fun questions. The last two have been actually pretty good, so... See what happens. Marco Pozica. Pozica? Hey, nice to see you driving again. Thanks, Marco. Yeah, it's been it's been good to get a little bit of freedom back, you know, and, and I have kind of a love-hate relationship with Uber in that I love the lack of uh, like social interaction there. So I hate it when I get in an Uber and they talk to me, so. No, I'm, I'm just messing. Uh, Paul Willoughby, how many days do you work out and how many times do you train each muscle a week? Uh, right now I'm training four times a week, which is quite low for me. I, I used to train like six days a week. But right now I'm trying to gain some strength while still being... I'm not in a huge calorie surplus. That's how I maintain my weight. So it's, it's tricky for my strength coach to like plan my volume and intensity and frequency of training given that for a lot of the time, I'm in a calorie deficit. For most of the week, I'm in a calorie deficit, and a large one, so. But uh, I train each muscle part pretty much once a week. No, I don't really do more than that. Ian Loy, it'd be good to know your end goal. Where would you like to take your career? PS, you're a good legend. Um, I would honestly be happy just doing this for the rest of my life. If, if, the, if the channel did not grow anymore, uh, I mean, obviously, I, I like the fact that the channel grows. I get to do new stuff, but... Um, if somebody said to me right now, you just do this until you're like retirement age. I'm not sure if anyone would watch a 60 year old dude stuffing burgers in his mouth. But if somebody said that, I'd be happy. You know, I like all I like. I'm a simple man. You know, I like to just pay my bills, be creative, entertain people. I get to eat food, get to interact with people. Um, and, you know, I don't want like a Ferrari or I don't know, a private island or something. So. But I do, I do like to branch out, you know, I love to get into, um, I'll be doing more photography gigs and stuff and videography and stuff lately, so, that, and I'm really excited by the whole merchandise thing, that's been, that's gone really well, I got like an insane amount of orders in the first 24 hours of pre-release, it's not even been mentioned on my YouTube channel yet, so, uh, doing stuff like that, that was a rambly answer, but, uh, I don't really have a plan, I never really have had a plan since I was a kid, so. Uh, Tom Smith, who would you rather eat against, Joey Chestnut or Molly Skyler? Um, I would have no chance against either. I have eaten against Molly three, three, to four times. I've been absolutely pummeled every time. So I guess Joey, that would be something new. But again, I would lose. So Raz Akhtar, do you like the Terminator films? <laughs> Come on, of course they do. Uh, nice haircut, beard. Says James Pyra. Thank you. Um, Going back for them, this is like the Peter Parker Spider Man 3 look. I don't know. My forehead's massive, so I wanted to cover it up. Pat Murphy, love your videos. How long do you generally spend making a video? Uh, oof, a long time. The editing process on each video usually takes 20 hours. 2 0. Believe it or not. That's probably partially my own inefficiency, but uh, I'm pretty much working on videos, I would say. If you include filming and travel, over 50 hours a week. Carol Sherwood, uh, it's probably just Carol, but just spelt different. I just said Carol, it probably sounds stupid now. David Clark, anything planned for your 500,000 subs? I don't want to tempt fate, you know, I never know for certain that I'm going to reach uh, a milestone. That would be incredible to reach 500,000, half a million subs would be amazing. Uh, I will definitely do something to mark that, but I've not planned anything yet, so. Have you bought FIFA 19, says Graham, Ma Ma uh, Graham Martin? Yeah, I bought it, I'm trying to get used to it. Um, I like the new. I'm like a big skill skill moves guy, because um, that's what I was. Uh, that's what I was like as a when I actually played football. You know, N never any end product, but you know I looked good. Um, so I like the new skill moves. Saw you at the rally, Highway 55 contest. It says Marilyn Sessoms. 
love watching videos. Oh, thanks for coming out, Marilyn. I'm sure you didn't come out just to watch me, but I just mean thanks for being in the crowd and watching. That was such a great day, meeting so many people there. And uh, I did pretty well at the contest as well, even though I came like seventh, which sounds bad. But there was literally between first place and, and like seventh place, there was like a, a minute, I think, difference in time. So I beat the people that I wanted to beat. Adam, how real is the beef with Randy Santel after he accused you of missing debris? There's no beef, John, man. We just like, I've, I've said this before, like Randy and I are friends, right? And I I like banter and I, I'm, I, I, sometimes I, Randy likes it too, but I think maybe sometimes I go a little far and Randy doesn't maybe like it. I know he got a bit wound up when I like destroyed his record on the infamous pancake challenge in Manchester. And I was really proud of that because I had such a great day. That was probably at the peak of my ability. Because I was training for, for like contests and stuff. And I, I think he didn't really like that so much. And obviously there was the breakfast video. We were winding each other up. But we we like it's we both know it's just eating, right? So when he's mocking me for leaving a bit of debris, I'm a messy eater, you know? I, I accept it. So there's no beef, you know? I'd love to meet up with Randy again and do something together again.